Hello everybody and welcome back to another Rusty Max video. Welcome back to our year 7 series on number. I'm so glad that you decided to come and join us again on this journey. It's been an amazing journey. So everything that's highlighted is everything we've done already. So if you're new here, we've already done all of these videos, including the last video on factorizing roots. So I might as well highlight that one. Um, if for any reason um, you wanted to catch up on any of these videos or you wanted to do the whole lot in the order it was done, then click on the pop-out banner up here. I've left um, a link to the playlist and then you can go and have a look at that. If you're following me along though, for best results, it'd be a good idea to follow me in order as one topic leads into another. Anyway, without further ado, let's go into the introduction of fractions. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you will know as soon as a new video has landed. All right. So as you can see, I'm going to start off with a circle. This circle is going to be my pizza. I may decorate the pizza, who knows? I might not, who knows? Um, but anyway, um, let's get some keywords out the way because the way I teach, I like to deal with all the keywords first. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is the word fraction. And fraction mean part of a whole. So that's the very first thing. So if I talk about the word fraction, which I'll be talking about a lot, it mean a part of a whole. So for example, I said that this is my pizza here. So imagine that this is my whole pizza. And I want to cut this pizza up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, do some quarters of my pizza. There we go. So I've cut that up into quarters. Now, when I represent my fraction, my fraction will have a number at the top, A, a line, and a number at the bottom, B. Now, let me tell you what these numbers mean. So the top number is called the numerator. And let's say that that's how much you want. And I'll explain that in just a moment. And the bottom is called the denominator. And let's say that's how much you have. So for example, there is my pizza. I want to eat one quarter of the pizza. And to eat one quarter, let's, let's shade that in. So, oh, it's not shading in. I'm just going to draw some lines over it. So I'm going to eat that much of the pizza. And the way I represent this as a fraction, I've eaten one slice, that's how much I wanted. But how much do I have? What's available to me? I've got four slices available to me. So that's how we represent. What's shaded is one over four. That's one quarter. Easy peasy, right? Okay, good. Now we got that out the way, let's deal with some other bits and pieces about this fraction. So for that now, I'm going to need a few more lines. So I'm just going to do another two lines here. And just like that, I have now split my fraction into eight. How do I know it's eight? That's because there are now eight slices here going around. And I can do exactly the same thing. I can say, well, OK, let's see if we can eat three slices of the pizza. So that's one, that's two. I'm just spacing them out a little bit and that's three. So how much have I shaded now? Well, I have shaded three eighths of the pizza because three, my numerator, that's how much I've eaten, how much I wanted. And eight mean that's the number of slices that were available. Okay, so that's the easy part. Okay, we're still going to carry on with all the easy bits now. Um, so let me just get rid of that now and then let's do something slightly different. Let's say you wanted to, um, to share your, um, your pizza. If I cut it up into more slices, does it mean I'm getting more or, more or I'm going to get less? Let's explore that. Just use your eyes for this one. I'll make this one really visual. Let's use your eyes for this one. So I've got eight slices there. And so I'm going to share this pizza 
with eight different with eight people including myself so everybody gets a slice and as you can see it's a pretty good slice right what if i need to share it with 16 people do i get more or do i get less let's find that out so for this one now i'm gonna split the pizza into 16 slices and so for this one i'm gonna just do a few more lines okay so i've split up my pizza now into 16 slices what have you noticed straight away well the first thing that you should notice is that the slices are smaller in size and literally smaller they're half the size that they were before so if i have to share it with more people then i'm going to get smaller slices so that brings us to the next thing that i wanted to show you about fractions today just now we had three eighths um three eighths when we shaded all three but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, well, okay, if I go back to shade what one eighth was, um, this was one eighth here. So that's one eighth if I go back to that. But now I have now cut up my pizza into 16 slices. So now on this bit down here, this bit here is one sixteenth. So we know straight away that one eighth is bigger than let's get rid of that quarter is bigger than 1 16th so in other words what I want to show you here about fractions is the bigger the denominator the smaller your fraction is becoming because you're sharing this with more people or you're cutting it up into more slices and the more you cut it up the smaller that will become the smaller each slice will become so that's the next thing I wanted to show you about fractions all right let's move on to the third thing about fractions I wanted to show you in this introduction video and this is called equivalent fractions so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rub out some bits and pieces here now and I'm going to keep my shading that I've got so you know I have got 16 slices here because we you went through the drawing with me but how much have I got shaded? Well, I've got two sixteenths shaded. And if I took the sixteenths out, so let me just take those out. So I'm going to take out all the extra lines I've put in. Uh-oh. When I've taken the lines out, now I've gone back to eight slices. And how much have I got shaded? Well, what I've got shaded is one eighth. So what we're actually saying here is that this fraction is equivalent to that fraction. I will do a separate video on equivalent fractions where we're gonna play around with this a lot more. But for now, we can see that we can have fractions with different numbers, but they're exactly the same size. That's what equivalent means. It means exactly the same size. All right, two more things I wanted to talk to you about then in this video. So the next thing I'm going to talk to you about, so let's take out all of this here now. And let me talk, talk to you about a couple more things. The next thing I want to talk to you about would be what is a mixed number. So this is part of my fraction introduction. What's a mixed number? So as we start doing calculations, it's going to come up and I want you to know what it is. Well, a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction and let's explore what that means okay whole number and a fraction so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um i'm going to copy this shape now so let's copy that and then let's paste it there so now you notice i've got another pizza down here pretty much exactly the same as the one i did before okay so that's my extra pizza down there let's see how we can make a mixed number so let's say I have eaten this whole pizza on the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade in the whole pizza. So I've eaten the whole pizza. There you go. Whole pizza is gone. I ate the first pizza and I thought I was going through the slices and I thought I don't want to stop. <laughs> I want to keep going. 
I wasn't full yet, so I opened another box with another pizza, also cut up into eight because it's the same pizza I copied from over there. And this time I, I stopped eating after I've had three slices. So how do I represent all the pizza that I've eaten? Well, I've eaten a whole pizza plus three slices. So I say that I have eaten one whole pizza, that's the whole number bit, and then another three out of eight. So I've eaten a whole pizza with eight slices and then three out of eight. Now it's really important that I stress something here. Notice that when I put one and three eighths, this one represents a whole pizza also cut into eight slices. Yeah, so I can't have a pizza here, this one in 10 slices and this one in eight because it doesn't match up with my numbers. So it needs to be the whole thing. Now, why do you say, why can't it be 10 out of 10 and then this one? Well, it's because of this. A whole pizza means that I've eaten eight out of eight slices. And we remember from primary school, any number divided by itself is one. So eight out of eight is one and an three eights, okay? So rather than write a eight eights plus another three eights, we can say one and three eights. That brings me to another thing to mention. One and three eights means one plus three eights, okay? So one eight eights plus three eights. Okay, and that's mixed number. Last of all, to finish off our fraction introduction in this video is what is called an improper fraction. So let's get that down. So improper fraction. And what is an improper fraction? It's a fraction, not a mixed number. It's a fraction. It looks like this, but the numerator is bigger than the denominator. And I'm going to use exactly the same pizzas I've just had. Um, so let me show you what that means now. In the grand scheme of things, if I want to write an improper fraction for how many slices I've eaten, that's exactly what I'm going to write. I'm going to write how many slices I've eaten out of an eight sliced pizza. So let's have a look and see. Well, I have eaten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have eaten eleven slices from eight sliced pizzas. And that's an improper fraction. And that's how you represent it. So listen out for these words. You know a fraction means part of a whole. A mixed number is a whole number and a fraction. And then now we look at improper fractions. Last thing I'm going to touch on here with the improper fraction is this. In terms of equivalence, this is exactly the same as that. And how do you say? Well, let's do this last bit of calculation to finish this off. If my pizza has eight slices, all right, so my pizza has eight slices, how many whole pizzas are in 11? Well, there is one whole pizza in 11 because that there's one pizza with eight slices, so that's one whole pizza. And then what do I have left over? What's my remainder? Well, once I've taken that whole pizza out with eight slices, I've got three slices left. And so that's three out of eight, okay? And that's why I said that that and that is exactly the same. And I can change it back the same way as well. Um, I said before underneath here that that one means eight out of eight, plus we had the three out of eight. If we add the tops, you get 11 out of 8. I'll put it on, on the left-hand side here. That becomes 11 out of 8. So they're all the same. And also, I've given you a little bit of a hint there into adding and subtracting fractions, which is going to be in a separate video. Okay, but that is it, guys. So I hope you've understood now, based on my introduction, what a fraction is, what a mixed number is, what an improper fraction is, how to change between improper fractions and mixed numbers, super important. How to know when a fraction is big or small, because the denominator tells you if the, the bigger that number is at the bottom, the smaller your actual size of your fraction is. And the bigger it is, the, sorry, the smaller it is, 
the bigger your fraction is as a whole. All right. OK, guys, if you've learned something new, please give this video a like and don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss any new videos coming up. Subscribe to the channel as well. Um, I would like to get this channel in the new year well over 10,000 people. So will you be the next subscriber? Get some other people in there. The Rusty Matt's channel will really, really appreciate that. But for now, until I see you on the next one.